Hey everybody, okay. So I'm super excited to do this first video for you guys for our 100 days of field to plate. I should tell you though, it's like our, our 100 days of frost free, which is all we have here in Southern Alberta, Canada, uh, doesn't actually start yet. Today is May 16th, so our frost free days sometimes don't start till into uh, the first part of June, up till Father's Day. However, there are some things happening around the farm that I can get started on. Well, one of the first things I did actually last year was I made dandelion syrup. Yep, dandelion syrup. And it was delicious. I never did a video on it. So this year I thought, well, that'll be fun. I'm going to do a video on dandelion syrup. So I was so excited to come out today. I even got my food grade bucket to put my dandelions in and I was ready to get going and here's what happened. This morning when I was out and about in the yard pretty early, I saw so many dandelions out here and the deal is you can like when they're really coming flush and Glenn and I don't spray our yard because we, we'd sooner have the the bees and the bugs and the birds and all that kind of stuff in our yard. We don't mind the dandelions. I mean, they're going to come and go anyway a couple times a year. And this whole area right here, you can see the dandelions, but man, like it was just pure yellow. And I thought, oh, that's great. That's going to be really good. So then I come out here now and y'all know dandelions close up at nighttime, right? Well, I come out here and it must be because it's so hot today. This is a hot, hot day for us. It's supposed to get up to like 27 degrees Celsius. And they're all, they're all hiding. So I'm gonna have to try this again. It's another reason why uh, we just leave the dandelions in the yard. It's because one of the first things that the bees can eat Well, this is my second try coming out to pick dandelions, and I will pick dandelions. However, you can see they're already starting to close up again. My oh, goodness. All right, well, let's do this. Ampile. Apparently, first dandelions that I went to pick are protected by ants. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I got so far. Last year when I did this, there wasn't any aphids in the flowers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna rinse them. And then I'm gonna let them sit for a minute to see if there's any bugs that need to come out. I only need a cup and a half of the uh, let be, let be wants my flowers. Well, you know, <laughs> wouldn't that be a surprise? Um, yeah, I'm gonna let him do his thing and come out. And then uh, I'm gonna take these inside and get them cleaned up. Okay, let's just put them over here. You can just enjoy that dandelion there all by himself. Whoopsie. I kind of flipped them upside down. Sorry, buddy. Okay, you can have that dandelion. And I'll take the bucket. Well, next up comes the fun and somewhat tedious part of pulling the yellow petals off of your dandelions. When doing this part, be sure to leave as much green as possible on the dandelion itself. Be careful not to incorporate any part of the stem as it will cause your syrup to be slightly bitter. For this recipe, I have doubled it, in fact. So this pot has six cups of water in it, and I have three cups of dandelion flower petals to add to it. Now, we only want to boil this part of the 
flowers for approximately 30 seconds just to get them all nice and settled into the pot. And once your petals have been boiling for approximately 30 seconds and you've picked out any floaters of course, you can just take your pot, remove it from the heat, let it cool down, cover it and let it sit overnight in a nice cool place. Even the refrigerator is okay for this part. Then I would gather myself a fine mesh colander or some cheesecloth and I am going to strain the dandelion petals that now have imparted this lovely green color to my dandelion tea out and I am going to squeeze the remaining juice flavor that is left in the petals. At this point this is just dandelion tea. You may heat it up and drink it with your favorite sweetener but in my case, I plan on making syrup out of it. After I have washed the pot again, it is ready for processing my syrup. I pour the dandelion tea back into the pot. Now to this pot, I because I have doubled this, I am adding four cups of white sugar. I know syrup is awfully sweet. It uses a lot of sugar and I am pouring in approximately half a cup of lemon juice at this time if you wanted to you could add one tablespoon of honey to it you do not need to add the lemon juice or the honey but having had made this before I really enjoy the, the lemon juice we are going to boil this syrup and then simmer it for approximately an hour until the syrup is approximately reduced by half or at which point the des desired thickness of the syrup is to your liking. As we don't mind it a little bit on the runny side, this is perfect for us. Now I have sterilized those four jars and I will not be canning this syrup as this syrup lives pretty good in the refrigerator for approximately three months. It's always quite satisfying filling jars. Now it's time to show off the beautiful dandelion syrup. The color has really changed to be amazing. And as always friends, don't forget to date your product. Thanks for watching.